Hello. In this set of videos, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more into the condition that we all know as chronic fatigue syndrome. And it's also been called as myalgic encephalomyelitis. A big word, but ME-CFS is something that a lot of us have become very familiar with or have heard because of long COVID or post-COVID syndrome. I've done a series of videos on long COVID itself and the understanding of its relationship and similarity to CFS. And therefore, I thought in this next set of videos, I would be focusing a little bit more on our understanding of CFS ME. I'll be using the terms interchangeably. They are practically the same in terms of how it is treated, diagnosed and managed. And so this is what the first video is going to be, is looking at how we understand the condition of chronic fatigue syndrome. What is CFS then? CFS is essentially a severe long-term illness. The term chronic fatigue seems to indicate that it's all about fatigue and tiredness, but it is more than that. Patients can have debilitating fatigue as one of their core symptoms, but it is now the understanding that they have a lot of symptoms affecting multiple organs primarily your nervous system and your heart, and that is a characteristic of the condition. The prevalence is significant. It is almost four to five times more common in women. Initially, it was thought that middle-aged people were more at risk, but now any age group can be affected by chronic fatigue syndrome. And more importantly, the costs of caring after someone and the loss to the economy is significant. In the US, it's estimated that almost 17 to 24 billion dollars is the productivity loss there. And they estimate that almost 830 to 2.5 million people in the US are struggling with CFS ME. In the UK, our data broad points are still being fully realized, but it is estimated that we have at least a quarter of a million CFS sufferers in the UK. In the next video, I'll be looking a little bit more into what are the present causes of chronic fatigue syndrome and the symptoms that we normally see. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the content useful and of value to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more videos to be notified.